Hello, family. My name is Claudia Abar, and I am a kindergarten teacher in District 4. I am also one of the kindergarten virtual content specialists for math. Now, if you are watching this video, it's because your child's teacher feels that you can benefit from a little demo of an app that we have been using in class. We have been using an app from the Math Learning Center called the Number Rack. I'm going to show you what it looks like and how to get there. You can access the app by using this QR code. Just hold your phone right over it or by clicking on this app right here, right? Clicking on this web address right here. The app is a very fancy abacus. If you're anything like me, you already know what an abacus looks like. It looks just like this. So when you first go into the app, you will find this. This app only comes in two colors. It comes in red and white. Each row will have five red and five whites. This is because it helps us to keep the children engaged by using the five group analogies that we have been using throughout. So now when you first open the app, you will start with two rows. Depending on your child and your needs, you can maximize or minimize the number of rows by coming down here. You can click on the minus sign, which will bring it down to one row, or you can increase as many as you want up to 10. Now, if your child is in kindergarten, I strongly suggest that you know that maybe you should stop probably after two or three. We will get there, but just not quite yet. So for the purposes of the rest of this demo lesson, I'm going to be using one row. Now, like I said before, each one will have five reds and five whites. There is no way to change the colors on this app right now. So what I want you to do is begin by moving them one at a time. You will click on a bead and slide it over. Or you can move the entire row if we are counting by teens, which your child probably is by now. You can count, you can slide the whole bead over by going to the furthest bead and sliding all the way over. When you first open it, all of the beads are going to be on the right side. We call that the resting position. The left side is the number that we're working with, the ones that we're paying attention to or attending to. Now let's say that your child is working on number 15. And your child, like all kindergarten children, is very easily distracted by the other remaining beads. Now you can say 15 and then how many are left to make 20. We can do that definitely. But maybe you don't want to, or maybe your child isn't ready for that. One way that we can hide the other beads is by using the shading option, which you will find down here. It will bring this shade, which you can position over the remaining beads. You can enlarge it or leave it in any size. So now your child is fo focused only on the beads on this side. When it's time to start over and you want to recreate another problem, this feature here, the start over feature, does just that. It brings everything back to the starting position. Now there are a couple more features. There is a text option. Maybe you want to write an equation for your child, five. Excuse me. Five plus three equals what? And we'll put a question mark there. This will show up like this. And you can then go ahead and increase the size and enlarge it for your child. Five plus three equals what? We will do five. And then we will do three more. Maybe your child will be able to work with this. This is just one way that you can do this. Another way is you can actually manually write in this app. You can use the pencil if it's in the vertical position to write the equation. Eight plus one. This is another way to do it. Here you can change the color of the pen that you're working. Or you can go ahead and erase the entire thing if you decide that you don't want to do this. Now, at this point, your child is probably working on teen numbers. If your child is working on teen numbers, we strongly suggest that while you work with the beads, you slide over 10 at a time. Even though your child might be more comfortable counting one, two, three by ones, you want to make sure that they slide it over and do 10. And then here we will do two, which would have been one of the problems that they work on. You can go anywhere up to 19 and 20. A couple more things that are really fun about this app. If you want to give your child a problem, but you're not going to be home and you want them to do this on their own, you can go back here to the text option. Maybe you want to say 15 plus two equals one. Maybe you want to create this problem for your child and you want your child to give you an answer for it when you get home. So it will look like this. 
How would you send the problem for your child to work on when you're not available to work with them? You will come here. You will go to this option, which is a sharing option. You will click on it and it will give you a few choices. You can save the image. You can copy the image if you're creating a file for your child. You can use a link or you can use a key code, which I'm going to show you how to do. You can highlight the key code. You can go ahead and clear the board and then your child will come here to the key function and they will enter the code that was just generated. Once they open it, your problem, your equation will come up. Your child will then do this, 10, five, and two. And they will be able to notice and change the answer for you. They can either manually write the answer for you here, 17, or they can go ahead and change it within the text box by clicking on the text box, text box option and writing the entire problem again. and it will highlight underneath your problem. Now, once they do this and they wanna send it along to you to check their work, a whole new key code will generate so that your child will then send you this information. You can go ahead and click the start over function again, and then come back into the key code option and put in the brand new code that your child created showing you their work like this. Again, you can access this app by coming here to this QR code or this web address here. We hope you found the basics of this app useful. There will be other videos moving forward that will show you a little bit more of what we can do with all of the apps that we have been using. This one was just a quick demo to make sure that you understand the basic features of it. Take care, families. We'll talk to you soon.